So I want to demonstrate the single stroke roll. And it incorporated, incorporates, again, my fingers are always wrapped around the stick. Always. I have my fulcrum point, which I see a lot of guys, you know, they'll go in. The fulcrum point with Henry is always on the first groove of the forefinger and the wrist. And I'm going to play it for you closed. I'm going to play it open with incorporate my forearms. And I'm going to do a little showboating. And I'll, I'll show you what, how I, what I came up with traditional grip, which helped me, which I saw Tony Williams do eventually. The single stroke roll, it's, it's doubles and it's singles. Everything we play in drumming is, is one and twos, no matter what you do. And the thing with this single stroke roll is you could do so many things with it solo-wise, and, and it just makes everything better if you have a good single stroke roll. And, uh, and you younger guys, you know, it, it'll, it'll come. I put in many decades into this, and, but it'll come. So I'm gonna just take it from the. I'm just gonna take it from off the cuff, and then I'll bring it up, and then uh, we'll talk about it. I learn more from from picking up than playing. What I did growing up is I did a lot of things when I was a little kid with that kind of speed, and it didn't work for something like a Billy Cobham roll down the toms and other things, and soloing. I was putting in too much energy, and uh, it, it came natural to me to play, be able to play fast like that, although I put in a lot of time. You just, you, more stuff will be, you'll be able to do with the open technique than, than playing closed, which is you're not really going to... I rarely... Uh, uh, it's good for some things, but playing too fast is too fast. You know, you don't have to play that fast. So I don't want to make it like I'm, I'm showing off, but uh, uh, as far as rolling down the toms and combinations, you're better off picking up. Try to isolate the rest, and uh, you know I see a lot of guys do stuff like this, and they're they look like they're in so much pain. They're like, oh, I mean, you know, it's nothing painful about it. You know, it, it's uh, I, I think I do more grimaces with my face when I'm grooving. You know, so I saw one guy in concert, and it was you know he had a huge drum set, and he's got a the snare drum comes up and floats, and turns this way, and he's like doing a single stroke roll. And he's like, his face is like so contorted. And I hope he's, a nut. he's not in too much pain, but uh, uh, it's not that kind of a thing. And, and another thing I learned, uh, traditional, was I would turn things around. Without really, some, if I wanted some added speed, to turn the hand around because we use more muscles. With, with with match group than, than traditional. And that never really came... I always go play faster this way a little bit, ever since I was a little kid. So, some great stuff there that you can learn, you know. And again, we start there, and, 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 and I just thought I'd show you how I do a single stroke roll. And uh, it's, it's, it's just so much that you could do creatively, and uh, it makes everything better, everything better. And uh, next time we'll work on the double stroke roll. Take care, guys, and next week.